here? This is my home? Who does this Porter St. Powell guy think he is anyway? Chairman of the board. What does that even mean? They should just call him Big Jerk who thinks he's in charge of everything. Oh, I don't think I'm in charge, young lady. I know it. So hurry along. I need this space for more research and development in order to make enough new money to cover what you lost the company while you were playing at being in charge, Miss Sumdak. Or can I even call you that? Just because there's no record that I'm Isaac Sumdak's daughter doesn't mean I'm not. He's my dad, and I don't care what you say. Ugh, why am I even talking to you? Come on, Sparkplug. Come on, Tutorbot. Let's get out of here. This place stinks. Need I remind you that those robots are both Sumdak Systems' property? Leave them. Hurry now. The new occupant will be arriving soon to start setting up his R&D facilities. <gasps> you! That's right, Lamer. The master man with the master plan is back! Whoa, hey, check it. Major cribbage. <laughs> It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> you can't have hired that guy back. He's crazy. That, thankfully, is no longer your concern. of Earth, Mr. Mayor, Captain Fanzone, I Sentinel Ultra Magnus, who could not be here because he has more important matters to attend to than to worry about this small underdeveloped planet. Which is not to say that we of Cybertron mind helping out you, uh, simple organics. Especially in light of the fact that so far our scanners have yet to detect any cyber contaminants on your <clears throat> Your, uh, what is it called again? Skin. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. I thought this was supposed to be a friendly photo op. Prime! Prime! Yes. Optimus Prime. Is it true that all Cybertronians have no regard for human life and view Earth as little more than a battleground for the never-ending robot wars? Why, you little... First, uh, let me say what a great honor it is for us to be such welcome guests here on your planet. We are truly sorry for all you've been through with the recent Decepticon attack. We understand that with the threat of Megatron still looming out there, fears can run a little... Enough! You bots will direct your questions directly to me. Don't ever presume you can speak for me, Optimus. The last thing we need is some over-glorified repair bot shooting his audio processor off about things he doesn't understand. A scrub like you should just smile and wave and stay out of the way. Now, let's get this over with. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do now? Well, uh, according to human custom, you shake hands with the mayor. Touch an organic? Unless you want to pass off such a great diplomatic responsibility to such a lowly repair bot. <sighs> Same old Sentinel. Thanks for taking me in, guys. Are you kidding? This is gonna be great! It'll be one non-stop party! Yeah. Party. Bet Masterson's throwing himself one big party right now. How could they hire that nut job body snatcher to work for your father's company anyway? I mean, it goes against everything my father stood for. My father. Hey, don't you worry about anything, real me. You're living with us now, and it's gonna rock! We have to do something to make her feel happy and at home. What do we do to feel happy and at home? This 
place totally rocks! <sighs> this will be a smoking sight for some classic R&D. Total psychage. I'll have to set up my systems here for some serious gamage. <clears throat> Masterson, I expect great things from you. Need I remind you that it wasn't easy clearing your name over that previous misunderstanding. Oh, relax, PC. Henry Masterson is in the house, on the scene, pumped and ready for triple action. You name it, and I'll deliver. Oh, good. Because I plan to pursue the very profitable aspects of the robotics industry that short-sighted Sumdac so summarily ignored in the past. Namely, military bots. Headmaster units, the whole works. Oh, PC. You are so talking my language that it hurts. <laughs> But I need a new test subject, a new robot body. The ones I used before are so old news, so ten minutes ago. What I need is one of those new and cooler bots from outer space. Like him. Perfection! <laughs> Captain Fanzone, I'd like to report a Decepticon sighting. Yes, it's down in old Detroit. Yeah, I, I was so scared. Please do something, please. Don't worry, ma'am. We're on it. Ma'am? I am so not a ma'am. Attention, all units. We have a Decepticon sighting in old Detroit. A Decepticon sighting? These organics wouldn't know a Decepticon from a garbage bot. Tell your organic captain we're going to investigate. Uh, Sentinel, that's a trash bot? Well, obviously it's a trash bot. I didn't just arrive on this planet yesterday. Actually, you... Yeah, never mind. Let's go. maybe, but I'm in a hurry. They really have to stop putting these things on every corner. You, uh... Humans will probably be in the way. Better to hang back and let a real Autobot handle this. And don't worry, organic end zone. I have a maintenance bot along to clean up anything that might get messy. This is why I hate machines. Especially arrogant, full of themselves machines. Let's split up and get this nonsense over as quickly as possible. Sentinel, we should scramble our comlink frequencies in case the Decepticons are listening in. What you should do is stick within the scope of your programming. If I need a trash can emptied or a floor mopped, I'll call on my buddy Optimus Prime. Or should I say, Maintenance Prime. <laughs> Maintenance Prime. And I'll just call him Pompous Gas Bag Prime. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Maintenance Prime. <laughs> I gotta save that one in the hard drive. Stupid organic. She never gets old. Uh, Optimus, uh, tell the organic fan zone that he can send his police force home. It's a false alarm. How do you know? I just know, okay? Now I need you to come to my position, alone. And promise me one more thing. What? 
that you won't laugh. Sentinel, where are you? Look down. <laughs> you promised you wouldn't laugh. I, <laughs> sorry. I can't let anybody see me like this, especially Ultra Magnus. It'd be the end of everything I've worked for. Oh, but it doesn't matter if I see you because I matter so little. That's not exactly how I would put it. I just need you to cover for me. Like you covered for me all those stellar cycles ago? Let's not drag the past into this. I know some bots might take advantage of a situation like this, but you, Optimus, you're a... I believe the phrase you're looking for is sucker. Yo, boss bot, got a heads up for you. Powell just rehired that whack job headmaster. I suspected he was back in action. Really? How? <laughs> Call it a hunch. Are we there yet? I can't see a thing from here. Where are you taking me? To see if Powell knows the whereabouts of his new employee, Mr. Masterson. And your body. <laughs> No, I really can't see. We didn't have any human food, so we kind of pulled together what we thought you might like to eat. Mm. Are you gonna drink that oil? Guess she wasn't hungry. Don't go running off, Sentinel. Oh, ha ha, very funny. That's far enough, Optimus Prime. Gone are the days when you Autobots can simply waltz in and out of this tower. I'm in charge now. I'm looking for Mr. Henry Masterson. Hmm, well, I can be completely honest with you when I say that Mr. Masterson is not here. So, you wouldn't mind if I just took a look around? I mind very much. This is private property. Please leave. Optimus Prime was just here, looking for you. Sweet! Did you tell him I already got a big, dumb robot body? This is serious, Masterson. We have a very public image that must be maintained. Powell's lying. I'm tempted to call Fanzone and have him go in with a search warrant. No! We <clears throat> don't want anyone else involved in this. Lucky for you, we don't need to. I'm tracing Powell's phone call. signal's coming from that ship. Then hurry up already, they're casting off! <sighs> Looks like we've got a welcoming committee. Oh, please, what can they do? as a shield? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Now, now, Optimus, let's not lose our... Uh, well, you know what I mean. Time to move! you don't have a tutor bot anymore doesn't mean you have to stop learning. Right. We can teach you. 
So, class, today's lesson is regarding, um, well, stuff and how it works. Any questions? Yeah. Why is there no record of my existence? Okay. A little bit outside the lesson plan. Uh, Professor Bulkhead, your thoughts? Maybe she came here from another planet in some kind of egg and crashed on some deck's doorstep. Mm, or a portal could have opened and she fell through from another dimension. Or maybe she's really a robot. Or maybe some deck found her in a cabbage patch. Or that stork thing. Stop it, stop it. I can't. It's just, please, leave me alone. My body's not here! We're too late! Oh, there it is. Prepare to be schooled, lamers! Whoa, I don't remember my shield ever being that powerful. You know me. I can't resist the upgrades. <laughs> and you know me, Masterson. I can't resist kicking your skid plate. Oh, tough talk, fire truck. Well, guess what? You're gonna get flamed! <laughs> yes! I am so late! Yeah? Well, I have no idea what that means. Aren't you, Optimus? You... You ripped my arm off. It was trying to jam shield spikes into my face. Yo! Angry dude! Chill! Please? Noobs, the headmaster's got a bounce. You kicked me on purpose. You're not bouncing anywhere, Masterson. Except back to prison. Yo, two things, Law Dog. First, I do not sound like a ma'am. Second, if you think you're laying down the rules, maybe you better conversate with my boss, him. Captain Fanzone, I suggest you release my employee. I don't think so, Mr. Powell. And you're holding him on what charge? Destruction of property? The ship belongs to Sundak Systems. Assault? Since when does an alien robot have rights? Plus, didn't the alleged incident occur in international waters between the U.S. and Canada? A little out of your jurisdiction, wouldn't you agree, Captain? Why don't you work it out with the Mounties and let me know? Hey, Mountie. Haven't you two done enough damage? All we wanted to do was make her happy. But we only made things worse. Then be silent. She will tell you what she needs if you simply listen. What do you guys want? Nothing. We just wanted to know if you were okay. Okay? If I'm okay? My dad is missing. I lost control of his company. That Powell guy is going to destroy everything good he worked for. I've been kicked out of the only home I've ever known, and I don't even know if I exist, and you think I'm okay? 
Oh, her eyes are leaking. You let them leak as much as you need to. We're here, and you're safe. So whatever it is, you can always talk to us. We'll listen. Thank you. I want to know, Sentinel Prime, what are these rumors about you losing your head? If I may, Commander. Sentinel Prime bravely used himself as bait to draw the Headmaster out into the open where he and I could capture him and destroy his secret lab. Good work, both of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must confer with Cybertron Command on a matter of great importance. Sorry if I presume to speak for you again, Sentinel. Uh, Optimus, there's something I... well, I need to say. <clears throat> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that must have hurt. More than you know. Someone? 